We get it. Israel can be a controversial place. And there are some voices who are calling to boycott our country. So this video is for them. Here are 10 ways to effectively boycott the state of Israel. Care about the environment? You can kiss your dream of an electric car goodbye. Israeli startups like Stordot and previously Better Place developed the technologies and batteries used today for electric cars around the world. So, okay, stick with a regular car, right? But stay away from Waze. It's Israeli technology. And yeah, Google Map also. Which bought Waze? And make sure you're not using Mobileye, an Israeli camera technology that prevents car accidents. Mobileye is used by over 25 car manufacturers and is installed in 15 million cars worldwide. The next thing to rule out is sending emails. The algorithm used for sending emails was developed by an Israeli at Ben Gurion University in 1980. But don't worry, you can still receive emails. Unless you use antivirus software. Antivirus and firewall technology originated in the state of Israel, so you'll have to remove all that too. Updating your website might also be difficult if you're using Wix, as that's an Israeli company too. When it comes to your laptop, you'll have to make sure it isn't using an Intel premium processor or Celeron, since they were both developed in Israel. Using Windows? Windows XT was entirely developed in Israel, and Microsoft is constantly developing technology at their Israeli R&D center. But Yusuf, what if I use Apple? Well, Emily, you're out of luck with that too. Even if you have an iPhone, the 4G chipset was developed in, wait for it, Israel. Israel. Don't forget that SMS technology was also developed in Israel. So even if you have a phone that's not 4G, you can forget texting. That's okay. I can store my data externally or on the cloud after I throw away my phone and computer, mm, right? Not quite. Almost all data storage technology has been developed in Israel or by Israelis. Even the USB is an Israeli invention. Once you've ruled out almost all technology, you'll have to toss out those medicines too. Israeli technology is responsible for groundbreaking medical advancements and drug treatments for diseases like cancer, HIV, MS, diabetes, liver disease, or sleep apnea. And if you have a medical emergency, well, be sure to avoid a heart stint. Or using the Israeli-developed pill cam for procedures like colonoscopies. It's also best to avoid vaccines, since many of them have been developed in Israel. And newer, more effective antibiotics also developed in Israel. So with medicine and technology pretty much ruled out, what's left to boycott? Even the food we eat? Almost, Emily. Israeli technology has helped provide water for communities and farming for millions of people around the world. Israeli company Netafim, present in 110 countries, developed micro and drip irrigation that literally made deserts bloom. So there you have it. Technology, medicine, and even food. Well, I guess boycotting Israel isn't as easy as they make it sound. Correct. And let's not forget that hundreds of thousands of lives have been saved by Israeli technology and medical advancements. But hey, you want to boycott Israel? Now you have the official guide. Good luck.